never want to hold you back. I want to give you every chance to make it, to make it. I'm afraid if our love collides, you'll leave me alone tonight. Cause I'm changing and I'm breaking. Is this so? Cause I know that You'll reject my love Moving slow Frozen to these pieces Without a show Welcome to the council, where we'll be continuing from where we left off, being uh, me being down by one arm, because I totally screwed up that puzzle. I'll get straight into it, huh? Okay. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us, too. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Is it now? History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. 
No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. Oh, it's my left arm. Okay. Filthy swine! I'm going to open this damn door and skin you alive! You're not going to get the better of us! Mother? Louis, you've come around. How do you feel? I've lost my arm. I, it hurts. Mother? I, I... I can't feel my arm. Louis, I had to cauterize it with what I could find. Where's my arm? We'll get through this, oh, Louis. Don't worry. I thought it'd be I much think higher. I found a solution you'll see. We gotta leave. No, don't, don't put your arm in there. Louis, we can't leave without it. It's our last chance. I need to see this through to the end. I must do it. Okay, looks like she figured it out. You've done it, Louis. Look. Stubborn as a mule. Come on, up you get. I'll help you. Easy does it. You've lost a lot of blood. <sighs> and now what? Let's take what we came for. Wait, wait. I've got to know what I did wrong. That is one fearsome mechanism. In fact, if I hadn't watched you beforehand, I would never have found the right combination. Tell me, where did I go wrong? The three nails? Yes, it, it's true. They let you open the iris. Yes, but you still need to find the right theme, don't you? The fresco was a trap. Apart from the fresco, everything pointed to the crucifixion. The things that make it possible to activate the mechanism are associated with the crucifixion. The cross to activate the mechanism, and the nails to choose a date. Yep. What did you do once you uncovered the iris? I matched the icon of the crown of thorns with the town of Golgotha, where the crucifixion took okay. place. How did you manage to crack the puzzle? Then I had to link the crown of thorns to the date of the crucifixion, according to the exegesis. But I failed to understand the first time. With that theme in mind, I chose 26M, which represents the 26th of March. Which is what I did. To conclude, I had to use the armillary sphere to find the moon corresponding to the day of the crucifixion, which turned out to be in the first quarter. Yes, that's what I did too. All that was left to do was to link all did it just screw me over? on the same axis. Or did I choose the wrong phase of the, did I choose the wrong one to be the first quarter? Did I end up putting the third quarter on? I really hope that's not what I did. Where are we? I don't know, but we'd better not hang around. Uh. Be careful, Mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer? I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? You've got a point there. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? 
The lance of Longinus, the centurion. The spear of destiny? Yes. The centurion that pierced the sight of Christ with his lance. That weapon naturally became a holy relic. Exactly. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang so on. are we going to become like demon hunters after this? this? But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaggi. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. Okay. That, that's my notes. My notes is I gotta find it. Oh, okay. Lag much? Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Wait. If I drink the water, the gold elixir, will my hand grow back? I mean, not having a hand is pretty negative. <laughs> Well, that answers my question. Okay, if I remember correctly, there was a note in his study about an image of Longinus that he had modified so that the spear looks correct. Was that I saw. Oh. Monsieur Johann von Wunder.
see. On Chinus. Is this him? Adoration of the Shepherds with Saints Longinus and John. Yep, that's him. Julio Romano, 1534. He was a saint after. Longinus is holding the Holy Lance in his left hand, and I'll bet he's holding the sponge soaked in holy blood in the other hand. Yes! Here we can see that the Holy Lance is represented in the shape of a spear. I better make sure I check this twice. It's, it's a work that dates from the Renaissance. There's nothing to say that it's not based on erroneous elements. But I believe what I read in the letter from Milan addressed to Mortimer. There's every reason to believe that this painting has been modified according to his guidelines to represent the true shape of the Holy Lance, a spear shape. Okay, might as well. This work is an order from Lord Mortimer. All the, All the details have been conceived with a specific goal in mind. Upon closer examination, you can see that even the style clashes with that of most of the other works in the manor. No. If Mortimer has taken special care as the conception and the exhibition of this painting in his study, in the same way as for the nightmare painting, it must be of some significance. And that is indeed the true shape of the Holy Lance, a spear shape. Okay, so it's just a... Uh, I mean, it was the spear of a normal soldier, so why else would it look like anything else? Like, I mean, the, it's the same argument they brought up in, um... The Last Crusade, was it? With, uh, no. Yeah, I think it was The Last Crusade. Which was the... Th third exactly. Indiana Jones movie where they said well it, why would it be a golden cup he was just a shepherd well he was a carpenter I shouldn't have put him on about. it was supposed to be just any other dinner why would it be any different Duchess Emily Hillsborough Duke Manuel Godoy okay where is the priest because that's my room Monseigneur his eminence Cardinal Piaggi I don't like the fact that I'm gonna have to ask him because of the whole demon inhabiting him at random points thing that was brought up in the last episode not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. So, food? Which means he's probably in the red salon. But let's see if we can find him. My dear Giuseppe. Oh, I've already read that. See if there's anything else in here I can grab. That's more gold than a lake, sir. Yep. No coins or anything. Okay, I guess I'm out of here then.
is through here. Giuseppe, oh no, is he Giuseppe? I think he is. There he is. I don't like him being that close to the edge. Um, he might be considering doing something bad. Your eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Luigi. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? I want to be alone. Very well. I I'm only searching for information about the lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you could... You not listening to me. You are playing with fire. Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion. On the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the holy lance of Longinus, are you? No, no, I, I was wondering about it myself. Oh, Louis, it's even worse than I thought. I believe you when you say you've only come to find out more. But in that case, it means that Sarah didn't even tell you the point of it all. Because, believe me, you are looking for it. You are looking for the lands. You should know you are not the only one, Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? No, you were the first I've spoken to about it, Eminence. Come now, Louis. Are you quite sure of that? What? Oh, come on! Yes, my mother knows about it. Of course, Sarah. Who else? No one else. What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? Your Eminence, I regret. I am unable to answer. Please understand that it, it pains me, but if I answered you, I, I would risk putting you in danger. Stop running around in circles and just tell me what you would use the lance for. Nothing in particular. I, I'd like to study it, that's all. Louis, please. I'm sure you can do better than that. Louis, you should abandon your project. I say this for your own good. You will only get burnt if you embark on this enterprise. Leave the lands where it is. Too many people have suffered because of it. Please excuse me, Your Eminence. I, I'm in a terrible hurry. Of course you are. And you won't listen to my advice. Don't worry about me, Your Eminence. Everything is fine. That is not the impression you give. Minus one of your limbs. Wait, is... He reacting to my arm at last? Good luck. Yeesh. What's that, huh?
here to get to the back door. This way. No. What? Then it's this way. Back this way. Up. And round. Oh, what was that? Another coin, huh? these different possible spears. This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. Has no name. I wonder who it was for. What's over here? I can see that this spear has a, a so called leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the Eye of Ra. That's not it. I can see that this lance has the characteristic shape of a spear. It is made of iron, and its tip is engraved with a cross. I must be sure of my choice. I can't get this wrong. Am I sure this is the one to take? Uh. Leave it for now and examine any others I come across first. I can see that this lance has a so called leaf shape. It is made entirely of iron. I can see that the tip is engraved with the symbol of the sun. Let's 
check this way, shall we? I found one possibility. That one I can't look at, gotcha. Flavius Aetius. Mm. It was cut a long time ago. You could tell by the rough hacks of the tool and the patina of the stone. This sarcophagus is very ancient. I'd say it's several centuries old. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of coffins. Why are there so many out? Are these different bodies he's taken? Here's a spear. It looks like a leaf made of gold. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape. And, well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. It's a rock shape. This is a wrong shape too, but I want to look at it. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed, and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the eye I of doubt that's engraved be on it. the tip. I can see this lance has a spear shape. His copper rim and got a fish on and it. has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Oh. So I need to go and find out. This lance has a leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. Let me find out what kind of symbol it might have had on it. Because that's two possibilities I've come across now. Maybe the exegesis has something? The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Ha! Great! Now let's see what's inside. Nothing. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Let's see what we can find here. Ha! Huh. Great! Now let's see what's inside. Anything else? No? That was it? Okay. What does a uh, vandal do? Ah. OK. 
Okay, so I found two possible spears. One with a crucifix and one with a fish. The sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. Is this the tomb of a king? <sighs> Judging by all the sculpted symbols of power, this is really ancient. The inscriptions are all eroded. I don't know what those marks mean, but maybe a stone or epitaph. These symbols, these grooves, cuneiform script. Cuneiform. This is humanity's oldest alphabet, the language of Babel. <laughs> Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek. Sargon. Huh. Well, we can see that this lance has a particular spear shape, and it is coated in gold. You can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip, barely noticeable. Okay, so there's two fish, which leads me to think it's probably going to be one of the fish ones. Oh, here's another one. I'll get out of there. So I found four now. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. I can make out a rising sun engraved on the tip. So I need to find out what it's made out of. And the symbol that might be on it. Lovely. Okay, that looks like everyone that might be... Okay, so it looks like I may have found all the possible spears. And I found four possibilities. I need to narrow it down. Let's see if maybe one of these might help. The Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. The Gospel of St. John is the most detailed on the subject of the crucifixion. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a shimmering lance pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. A shimmering lance? What is this telling me? The medieval hermetic traditions evoked the idea of using noble materials for relics, which the monasteries often made themselves in order to attract pilgrims. Of course, they had to inspire greatness. So here, we might think of gold, whereas a centurion could not have hoped for anything better than copper at the time. The true lance would not have been a luxury. No, it would have been. So it probably would have been copper. The Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. Four Gospels each give an account of the death of Christ. Let's see what they can tell me about the lance. Okay, so according to John. Ah, there. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the okay. soldiers with a shimmering lance pierced his So I probably am looking for a copper spear. It's probably going to be that first and he one. saw it bore witness. And his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. Shimmering lance. What is this telling me? So I'm thinking I might want the copper one. So not the gold one. But it might be the iron one, because.
Okay. So I want a spear shape made of copper. And considering the cross was not adopted as a symbol until after his death, it's probably not the one with the crucifix on it. So I'm guessing it's this one back here. This lance has a spear shape, it is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. I'm gonna go with this one. sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? And what's this? Cultism and conviction, okay. Now, if anyone's f watching this because they want, like, a walkthrough or anything, I may be wrong. I am probably wrong, but I'm gonna stick to my guns. So I may not have even found it. I'm still gonna stick to it. It's not like I can go back. Let's see here. Let's get those up to level two, shall we? I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. I don't have any books to equip. The Richard sticking your nose everywhere again. Wow, what's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur, I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why, what are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short, quick. Look, I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Derisha. Where have you been? I'm still looking for my mother, if, if you can believe it. I've been in the manor basement to check if she might have gone lost. And uh, did you find her? No, not a trace. I'm warning you, Derisha. I have got my eye on you. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from me. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. Here we go. 
Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know either. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not as bad as uh, you thought it would be. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. Okay. I'm glad that worked. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. It's the library. You can go this way. I can't go. What? I have to go the long way around? Was there something I could... Golden elixir. Consume without excess. Who's gonna stop me now? As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. I don't like this. He's in the way. Come closer, Louis. Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. I wanted you... Oh, no, your hand. Damn it, no. So that's it. She is prepared to use you. What do you mean? It wasn't enough for her to lose her hand. She had to make you lose yours, too. I cannot permit this to continue. Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? Mm -hmm. She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. Continue. Louis, 
It's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm. Unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. Mm -hmm. A family of demons is still a family. And as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, Sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though. Mm, no, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. You're the one who killed her. The poor girl was condemned, Louis. Don't you think it better that she stopped living like a slave, being mentally raped by my father since the day she was born? Well then. You're joking. You don't know everything. She might have recovered from everything she had suffered. Between the unyielding control of my father and your mother's terrible treatment, I wouldn't wish a life like that on anyone. So but you're saying... it is also true. I felt obliged to get rid of her. You'll understand one day. You'll see. So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Borchert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, it ended in a civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. Uh -huh. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. I see. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wants to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. Mm -hmm. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but... After living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I have something to show you. There, there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? I think you sorely need the Golden Order, and you want to make sure you've got it. Really? You really think I'm that desperate? Well, I did think so, but now I'm not so sure. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me, you are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. What? Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural, charismatic presence comes from? 
Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I, what do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. I kind of saw that coming. Not too shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain Which would be herself. why she you didn't want me to come here. Air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. I don't know. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound, very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers. Words. Mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. But I'd be violating their minds, wouldn't I? No, no, nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all, rest assured. So it's there surface are level also thoughts. also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used. Okay, new blood is... That one? No? That one. In ourselves, you can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. I don't like that this is coming up near the end. To play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy. And rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Okay, you are now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlocutors. <sighs> Mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronting to an when confronted to an immunity, two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Okay then. You're right. 
You're right. I need to go now. See you later, See you later Lord Mortimer. One more thing. If you, want if you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about, about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Well then. It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. So does that, does that mean Clement was a... a demon? here far outweighs our personal interests I, I our should personal interests i'm talking about my sister's life she was my other half calm down emily calm down Louis, don't come near me i warned you what would happen if i found her emily calm down you're not like them you're not a murderer is that so? And what do you think we were doing for the Order then? And for the Crown of England? Why do you think the Order contacted me? Silent. Methodical. No one ever suspected us. We always covered for each other. Duchess, I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Okay, then. Uh, you, shut your mouth. You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me, Emily. What did you say? No, I'm not like her, and never will be. You're not like her! Neither you nor Emma are like Sarah. Ever since you got here, you've always tried to help me. I trust you, Emily. And Emma would never have betrayed me either. No, she... she wasn't like that. She was loyal. But why did Sarah betray Emma? Why? I... your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. And? She would never have talked, even under torture. So why get rid of her? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there, for God's sake. So what are you talking about? Don't tell me Emma died because of that book. I have to know. Anything but that damn book. Mortimer and Holm can read our very thoughts. What? what? Emma would have never been able to resist them. What are you talking about? Mortimer has the power to read thoughts. That's impossible. And yet, he has found a way. It wouldn't even have been difficult for him to get into her mind. Look what they did to that poor girl Elizabeth. Look at Peru. He was pushed right to the edge, year after year. I can't believe it. I promise you, it's the truth. Louis, I... Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I know, but it's the truth, Emily. How do you expect me to accept this? We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such beliefs. Do you remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In his study, he keeps the Mortimer family tree. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade. And they are all called William. He justifies his own existence, Emily. Look, I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... Unfortunately for us, it'd be impossible to even make up a story like that. All right, I believe you. Thank him. You owe him your life. 
I have always been very lucky to have him as my son. I really thought my next breath would be my last. Well, anything's possible. This is no time to be joking. Just help me climb aboard this boat, and let's get off of this cursed island. No, I'm not going anywhere, and neither are you, until you've told me everything. For crying out loud, what are you talking about? Paris, 1763, number 12, on Rue des Martyrs. No, I beg you, please trust me. He's manipulating you. We must leave. Paris. Can't you see he wants you? And he'll do anything to turn you against me? Number 12, on Rue des Martyrs. He had to pay for what he did to me. I panicked. There she was with the baby do. I thought it was the right time to touch it, but To when... touch it? By disemboweling her and stealing me from her? The girl was already condemned to die. He never leaves any witnesses behind. She meant nothing to him. And I absolutely had to find a way of stopping him. You snatched a newborn baby from its mother's womb with the sole goal of seeking revenge. From the second I took you in, I couldn't bear to be apart from you. I looked after you, fed you, raised you like a mother. I am your mother. I know. You always took care of me. I devoted my whole life to teaching you to distinguish between right and wrong so you would have the choice. You are not like him. But, but you never told me. I wanted to. I very nearly told you everything at least a dozen times. You didn't, though, did you? Why? I, I, I don't know, Louis. It was easier not to face up to it, not to stir it all up. Don't judge me, Louis. You were afraid of my reaction. I wanted to tell you everything once you were old enough to understand. Forgive me. Louis, yes. I made mistakes in the past, but now I'm ready to... Do you consider me a mistake? No, not you. You are what I am most proud of in my whole life. You are good. You fight to do right. You are not like him. Still, he is my father. Why did you steal me? You don't want to know, believe me. For once in your life, be honest. Why all this mess? Why do you have it in for him so much? Why? Because I'm his daughter. Oh. I know what he's doing. I see he has his eye on you. He's hovering around you, She's tempting a demon you. Too. He did it to me before you. And if you don't live up to his expectations, he will cast you away. Is that what happened to you? I wasn't good enough for him. So does that technically so make you my sister? What do you mean? He tried to initiate me, but... It would seem I am unable to develop his talent. I can't withdraw my mind from my body. I get it. The reason why you abducted me is because he didn't love you, isn't it? He doesn't love anyone, Louis. Don't be taken in. my mother whatever you've done I can't take that away from you it doesn't excuse everything but in time we will find a way of putting it all behind us oh thank you Louis thank you I will never lie to you again come on let's go no mother I'm not going back with you I can't what do you mean Louis you can't stay here he don't will... worry about me I have to stay I still have a lot to learn but you go. Louis! I'll see you in Paris. Don't worry. Here. Here. This is yours. Don't forget, Louis. You've got the lance. You can beat him. If you hit him with it, he won't be able to escape from his mortal envelope, and he will die with it. Well then. Surgery she's a lie? Okay.
she lied about something, and I don't know about it. I still don't have any new books. The fact that his nose was bleeding. I think he's a demon too. The the rational and open. I spent my whole the priest guy. Lies. Emily, what a waste. I feel like I know nothing. I, I have to learn everything all over again. I'm a demon. I age more slowly. I can mentally manipulate people. I don't even know if it's a good thing or a curse. Ooh, I mean... No. no. This is an advantage. I could get used to this pretty quickly, I think. Damn it. What a mess. Come on. Man up, Louis. I'm still the same old me. Demon or not, I'm still in charge of my actions. And this father, I know nothing about. Yes, I've still got a lot to learn. It's enough to drive you crazy. Everything I believed in, nothing holds true anymore. Pull yourself together, man. I need to find some answers. There's no way of being alone for a minute. I guess not. Sir Gregory? Good day, Louis. I think it would be good to talk. How are you feeling? I don't know. I understand. I heard that William spoke to you at last about our nature and our family. It's a good thing. But you must be a bit shaken up. That's the least you can say. I bid you welcome among us, Louis. Knowing William, he probably didn't go into any detail about our family, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. How many of us are there in the family? We are eight brothers and sisters. What do you mean by brothers and sisters if we can change bodies? You reason with logic. Uh, we have retained the human habit. When we first come into this world, we retain a certain attachment to our first envelope. If we are born as a man, we are brothers. If we are born as a woman, we are sisters. But I must admit, it has absolutely no real importance. They're just bodies. Well, tell me then, are there any other families like ours? There are officially seven, but we're the oldest and therefore the most powerful. Uh-huh. Is there a head of the family? You'll see. You'll meet them all, of course, when you are ready. They created us and set out the rules, especially our father. As for our mother, she retired from the political stage. We don't see her much anymore. I think that all these questions simply bore her. Understandable. What's Lord Mortimer's problem? I think he allows himself to be devoured by a need for recognition. Has he always been like that? More or less, but thinking about it, I believe that the birth of our latest sibling greatly accentuated his discomfort. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's jealous? I didn't realize you were so good at behavioral analysis. Indeed, William certainly is prone to jealousy. Finding one's place, notably in the eyes of our father, is not easy, and we each do what we can to succeed. But I can't justify this perpetual rebellion against our rules. I 
I see. There is still much to learn. Yes, it's true. You've got some catching up to do, my boy. One thing you must understand regarding any disagreements that might arise between William and myself is his position with regard to mankind. What do you mean? Well, for centuries we've been trying to help and therefore preserve humanity. Monarchies are simple and practical. They enable us to inspire humanity efficiently, and I can't understand why William wants to replace them with democracy. Because you play your cards right, you can... But if your intention is not to dominate the human race, why not let them be master of their own destinies? I perfectly understand this type of reaction from you. Less from William. The main thing you're lacking is time. Man is transient. And one of his particularities is that he does not learn from the errors of his peers. He uses up an incredible amount of energy, building and destroying whatever he himself has put into play. If we weren't here to help them, guide them, I sincerely believe that humanity would have become extinct by now. We are eternal, Louis. When we plan ahead, we do it for the long term. Yes, I, I understand, but that's more like tyranny, isn't it? Well, it's all a question of your point of view. From man's point of view, I can understand how he would have that impression, if ever he found out. But don't forget your true nature, from the demon's point of view. In other words, ours, letting man do as he thinks fit, would equate to letting him race to his own demise. But what about man's freedom to choose? That is man's worst enemy, Louis. Imagine a creature that dies without reaching the age of adult. It remains a child. We have to help him, otherwise he will put himself in danger. Hmm. It has taken centuries for our family to establish relative peace between demons. Thanks to this policy, we have been able to decide everything by confining the other families to subordinate roles. And now William is obsessed with disrupting everything. Peace between demons? What do you mean? I'm not talking about conflicts within our family. If that was all there was, everything would be fine. But several other families, younger but nonetheless powerful, are trying to upset the They're balance. They're trying to take control. We dominate most of the major countries around the globe. But some families are pushing, via less influential countries, to gain ground. Do you understand? As best I can, yes. When the time comes, you must take up a position on the political chessboard. I only hope your father doesn't take you down with him. Are you offering me an alliance? Louis, I do not believe that just because your father is mistaken, all is lost for you. You owe William nothing. So there's nothing obliging you to support him. Got a point. I want you to make an informed choice. Now go and see your father, see what he has to say, and then think it over very carefully. That's exactly what I intended to do. Thank you, Uncle. Don't mention it. If I've been able to help you in any way, go now. I wonder if he ever, he's ever looked not as wretched. Why haven't I had this hand taken care of in a much better fashion? Let's just eat up this jelly here, shall we? Washington. Oh, book. I can use that. Louis, busy as always, I see. How lucky you are. I must admit, I'm trying to kill the boredom myself. I get the impression we're all in the same boat. And here I was thinking you might have some juicy gossip. I wish I could entertain you, but 
Apart from recommending a few paintings, I don't know what to suggest. That's very kind of you, but I'm quite sick of gazing at all those modern paintings. Thank you, all the same. Is he a demon? Definitely an odd turn of events to find out that he my daddy. Oh, what was that? Oh, to leave. Hey, look, that's a fish. I think I did get it right. Louis, I was sure you would stay. I'm proud of you. You've made the right choice. It took great maturity to forgive your sister as you did. She brought me up. I, I realized I owed her a lot. We all make mistakes. As Sarah well knows. Why didn't you tell me the truth about her? I thought that might be too many truths to absorb at one time. I intended to tell you afterwards. You were in a hurry, so I made a decision. You've been able to understand and choose for yourself. How do you feel? Hard to say. Mm. Honestly, I am intrigued. Quite curious to find out more. My whole way of thinking has been blown apart in just a couple hours. What could be more normal? It may have been a bit brutal, but you've just grown up in a very short space of time. From now on, you can influence your own future. I will guide you. We've all the time we need. You're not the first to make me that offer. What do you mean by that? Your brother, Sir Gregory. Gregory. Why am I not even surprised? What did he say? Mm, let's go with that. I think he's worried about you. Worried? <laughs> Marvelous. That's just like him. You know, in a family like ours, we all have a role to play. And his is to worry about everyone else. Let me reassure you, there's no reason for him to worry about me. And what's your role in this family? Mine? Oh, I think they probably feel I'm... The eternal naysayer, I suppose. I think one mustn't be afraid of change, and that it is healthy to challenge oneself at regular intervals. I don't impose anything on anyone. I'm just following my own path. But where does it lead? Hmm. I suppose I should explain. For centuries now, demons have emerged in and around great leaders all over the world. But like true tyrants, they have governed with an iron fist in a studded glove. That's the impression I get. But you see, people's discontent is increasing. They are too high up to hear it. They take themselves for gods. Sooner or later, the people will turn against us, just as they have in the past. Each time it's happened, many of us have died. We must master the humans, yes, but gently. And the best way of doing that is by allowing them a free choice. And then way. guiding that choice. You really are trying to liberate men. Of course, not entirely, no. It is easier to keep control over people who slumber than people who are oppressed. Yeah, I mean, look at America. Man nothing to lose is a dangerous man. Whereas, if you give him a roof, food, and entertainment, he will do whatever you want. The best way of getting them to achieve something is to make them think it was their idea. Look at that, us. They have to feel as if they are free. Hang on, what do you mean? Look at the United States. From the start, I introduced an idea that will change everything. The idea that everything is possible. Everyone can become someone. Is there anything more beautiful? You mean it's not true? 
Man can move mountains when he believes it is in his own interest. And what nobler cause is there than his own freedom? Do you have any more examples? Of course. Mm. Tell me what you think about progress. Progress is essential, Louis. It's the future. What else? Progress must liberate humanity from burdensome chores. Progress must replace man. Whatever his presence is not obligatory. It creates both the desire and the need. It will liberate women as soon as the machines are able to do all the chores in the home automatically. It will bring men together by bringing a faster means of locomotion. Look at the cultural revolution that printing brought about. True. And what would you propose for women? They must be given the right to work and to vote. Look, at the moment, they don't work. They take care of raising children. What a mistake. We have to get them out of the house. Make them work. In this way, not only will they become consumers, but they will also delegate the job of education to the system. We could guide humanity from a young age, Louis. Huh. Don't you see? Today, we are wasting too much time. Talk to me about slavery. Well, take the slave trade, for example. It's an archaic practice that simply has to stop. Today, black slaves of America work for free and in unbearable conditions. Tomorrow, if you free the blacks and offer them work along with a salary, they will bless you for it. Then, they will be integrated into the system. They will be taxable. Once they are free, they will have to work for a roof, pay taxes, and feed their families. Maybe we could take away the civil rights of prisoners, for example. In this way, we'll keep control of all those who respect the system and benefit from the others as workforce. Hmm. What obscurantism. By harping on this concept of good and evil, guilt and redemption, look where men are now, locked up in beliefs that should no longer exist. It's time for men to rediscover themselves and to take control of their lives as they really are, without any moral judgment. But the most important but of all has already been laid. The foundation stone, mm. freedom of speech. The first amendment of the constitution that must be opponents to every project. So above all, don't develop a one track approach. Otherwise, man won't have enough room for expression to feel free. True. If man sees his chains, he will only want to break them. If we give men the feeling that they are free, I am convinced that they will exceed their limits. And it is only from that condition that humanity shall rise Sticking up. outside the box Do to obtain the goal. you want to or raise humanity higher? I want it to advance. I want it to progress. Man is our vessel. If he progresses, then so do we. Wouldn't you like to know what we really are? Who do you mean? Demons? Yes, us. Our species. I've been searching for centuries, trying to find a way to explain the reason of our existence. But humanity has not yet evolved enough to make any progress on the subject. I am convinced that the sciences will bring that knowledge someday. So, that's your objective, is it? To understand who we are? I see your point. Our family clings to its privileges and to the past, and that's how they are putting us in danger. The time has come for change. Now that you know your true major, there are still a few things I need to teach you. What do you mean exactly? A new skill, and not the least, Louis. It's about taking control of a person. Mm, I don't think I like that. How do you do it? It's an anima resonance. How it works is still a bit unclear even to us. Like a wave or a sound? That seems the most likely, yes. In my opinion, demons are capable of tuning their psychic frequency to that of others. That is why, for example, I tend to surround myself with deaf and dumb servants. The servants dressed in black. I infiltrated them. I opened a channel between them and me and then I deprived them of speech and hearing. This way, no other demon can turn them against me. I don't see how I could do that. I shall help you the first time. 
Okay then. Okay, let's not waste any more time. <laughs> I deduce that you're impatient to master what's in store for you. That is good. I thought I'd mix business with pleasure for this first time. What do you mean by that? The conference will come to a close shortly, as you know. Not that I'm fed up with archaic diplomacy, but it's time to ensure the success of this project. To make this happen, I would like Piaget to inform the Pope he has changed signs. You, you're going to use your powers to alter the votes? The real game is about to begin, Louis. Up till now, the guests have been sizing each other up. From now on, it's time for Gregory and myself to play, as well as you yourself. Now, here is my plan. I would like you to join his eminence in his room. Just play along. We'll see when the time comes. Very well. And then, you're going to have to trust me. What we're going to do is painless for the human you are going to invade. Invade? Yes. You're going to enter his mind and take control. I don't think I like this. You're going to influence his actions and his psyche. Make him speak, then concentrate. You must focus on him in order to feel his thoughts. Then, while speaking, you must link with him. Once you're done, you will naturally find your way to the source and enter into his thoughts. But what if I fail? Trust in your instincts. You just have to let yourself go. You have the skill. Let your nature come to the fore. You'll see. If you fail, you'll be in for some light banter with his eminence. That's all. There's nothing to be afraid of. Very well. Perfect. Go now. The Cardinal is in his room. You will have to write a letter to the Pope, as if Piaggi had written it himself. In this letter, tell the Pope that whatever happens during the conference, he must follow my proposition. But be careful. In order to protect himself from counterfeiters, the Pope had Piaggi's hand tattooed with a symbol to be sure of his identity. You'll see when you're inside him. You'll understand. Hmm. Once it's written up, just bring it back to me, and I'll send it off immediately. All right. I'll take care of it. Okay, then. I get to do mind control, because that's not evil. Uh, Piaggi's room is right next to mine. So PRG is a human. Then why was his nose bleeding? It's not it. Were one of them in him? brings you back to my chambers. May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you, Don't you feel yes. good? Yes, but if I'm going to pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. Your Eminence, I'd like to speak to you about the conference. Sorry, my son, but I would rather not speak about it. Damn it! Change subjects, Louis. Quick! Mm. What exactly is your role with regard to the Holy Father? I... What? What on earth is he playing at? It's coming. You're a cardinal in Pictori. Why don't you admit it? Impertinent little brat. Louis, I don't find this conversation in very good taste. Mm. All right, it's coming. Come on, Giuseppe, let me in. What? Uh, uh, 
I've done it. I've done it. Done it. Damn it. He was right. Well then. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. You better not get caught. Whoa. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with them and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. As my health does not allow me to honor Sir Holmes' invitation to go to Lord Mortimer's, should be grateful for you should send me. Actually, he will give my thanks to you. Greet Mr. Gregory and let him know that his venture in my regarding Cardinal Bishop Chairman D is following its course. I've very Use the one with my motto on it. composed of six letters they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaget's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now ideally, it'd be better to do it without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today the date is 2401-1793. Uh, let's see here. 1701-1793 In the letters from the Pope, there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaget's tattoo, it must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. Um. Let's see here. O one is E H. Well, show me the hand. I can't look. Today the date is twenty four o one seventeen ninety three. See, O one is E H. E is 17. H is between 17 and 24. H, B, C, F. Well, C is between 7 and... I don't understand. Um, my controller's being weird. It's not letting me select anything other than these three. That's not good. Give me a second. I'll be right back, folks.
Okay, I don't know why it's not letting me. In the letters there from we the go. Pope, there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaget's tattoo. It must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. Some figures are the same in both codes, yet they correspond to different letters. The day is not translated. That must be the key to the code. How so? Okay, so 31... is a G. Seventeen is E. Today the date is twenty four oh one seventeen ninety three. Okay. Twenty four is okay, so thirty one starts with a G. Thirty-one is an I. One is G. Two is J. One is G. Three, four, five, six, seven is H. Nine is F, and two is J. I think I figured it out. Seventeen is E. Go zero. It's an E. One is H. H. Three, four, five, six, seven is B. Nine. Oh yeah, nine is C, and three is F. Okay, I think I figured it out. So today is twenty-four. It starts the first. So it starts on A and zero. Would be A. Where is it? A. Today the date is 2401-1793. One would be F. Today the date is 2401-1793. Another F. Today the date is 2401-1793. Okay, this is, uh, AFF, seven, three, four, five, six, C. Today the date is 2401-1793. Seven, C, two more would be H. Today the date is 2401-1793. Okay, 24 is A, and 3 puts it at G. Today is the 2401-1793. Okay. Right. Well, let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. It turns out, now that I'm here, that I find Lord Mortimer's projects grant us many more advantages in comparison to what Sir Gregory had suggested. We are talking about the future of the Holy See. Hmm, there. That should be enough to justify the change of vote. And now I need to choose a stamp. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. 
Huh. And I remember that. Flore and Domo Domi. Flore and Domo Domi. Justizia, misericordia e umiltà. Boy, I gotta brush up my foreign languages. Justizia, misericordia e umiltà. Boy, I gotta brush up my foreign languages. On it is written. Flore and Domo Domini. Uh, isn't that the one? Oh, good lord. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. Which is... And I remember that. Flore and Domo Domini. Okay. So it would be the middle stamp then. Send. What's he doing here? Damn it. That's all I need. Don't worry. He can't hear us. What do you mean he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? Yeesh. <laughs> Calm down, my friend. The poor boy has just passed out. We were talking about this and that when suddenly he fainted. Killed over, just like that. Huh. Really? What a weakling. Uh, I wonder what Mortimer sees in him. Who knows? I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is. And there he stays. <laughs> the perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Can you keep a secret? Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? Well, then. How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away. Leave everything to me. And this is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? Good boy. Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think, it will all be on our heads. No doubt about it. I, I refuse to run the risk. Right. Monsieur oh, yeah. Von Von, I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. Oh boy. Okay. You can't attack him without running the risk of jeopardizing the conference. Even though Sir Gregory has the edge? No. Gregory will never forgive you. Very well, Piaggi. You will. Yes. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. Right. Don't just stand there, Louis. Mortimer's waiting for you in the red salon. Indeed.
Close call. Eee. Okay, gotta get out of here. Come on. Go, 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 go. Let's take care of those, shall we? Is that a book I can grab? Please tell me that's a book I can grab. I love that. Oh, more books. No! Red Salon, here we go. So, Louis, what was your first time like? Bewildering, isn't it? Here's your letter. I have to admit, the experience was utterly amazing. Come, tell me more. Tell you the truth, I didn't make it through the first time. Well, that's quite normal on the first try. But you did it! Gregory? What can I do for you? I've just come to make sure dear Louis has all the information he needs. Needs for what? You are free to make your own choices, William. I would like the same for him, too. There's nothing I want more, Gregory. Your schemes will lead to your demise, brother. Don't involve Louis. He has nothing to do with all this. The end of the conference approaches, and this masquerade will soon be torn asunder. Don't drag him down with you in your disgrace. Oh, ye of little faith. On the contrary, brother, Louis has just entered the family. Give him a chance to find his place. His place? What place is that? At the end of a leash, like all the others. Don't listen to him. He's angry with our father. And with good reason. He governs us in the same way he governs humanity. Through fear and submission. Same old tune. When will you understand that it's necessary to impose order for things to move forward properly? You are under his thumb and proud of it. Open your eyes for crying out loud. His whole system has become outdated and he's too old to see it. He will lead us to our demise. There he goes with another of his grand speeches. William has always been fond of staging big scenes. It's his theatrical side. Does he have an inferiority complex? I've told him time and time again, Louis. He always has to take it one step too far. How dare you? You are blind, brother. Even if the evidence bit you on the nose, you still wouldn't see it. I feel sorry for you. Tea is drunk hot or not at all, William. When will you learn? It's too bitter. You shouldn't let it brew so long. I knew you'd be coming along. You are so predictable. Methodical, I would say. Things must be accomplished in the right order if we want the world to keep turning as it but does. But I don't want that. Negative one, you say? You came here to warn me, sir. No, to advise you. Advise me against my father. Why? I think you are capable of deciding for- You haven't answered my question. Why warn me against my father? What are you afraid he will do to me? Well, I wouldn't want him to lead you into 
I don't know what absurd adventure in you which... You act as though I were in danger. I agree with Louis, Gregory. You're trying to pass me off as a villain about to devour him. That's not funny, William. I won't let him follow you. You see, Louis, Gregory came here to make you change your mind. It's time for things to change. I acknowledge Father has done many good things for humanity, but his time is over, and now he must pass on the torch. That's enough. There, Louis. That's the pathetic example your father has to offer. I really am sorry about what happened to you. You don't know our family yet. We can't have given you a very good impression, but bear in mind that we are all against William's project. On the contrary. If he insists on going through with it, we will have no other choice than to intervene by force. Consequently, my dear Louis, you're going to have to choose sides. I would much rather have met you in different circumstances. There you are, Louis. See what happens when you don't follow their orders to the letter. Louis, I'm afraid the time to decide is now. <coughs> if you follow William, he will drag you down. If, on the other hand, you support me, I can assure you that nothing will happen to you. You won't be blamed for your father's errors. Ah, oh, the masks are off. I offer you liberty. He obliges you to choose, and shamelessly asks you to betray your own father. That is their true face. Right. Before I answer, well, I better think it over very carefully. Do I intend to embrace my demon nature and take my place on the chessboard? Do I stay out of it and do my utmost to stop them? Or do I renounce my nature and do all I can to stay human? <laughs> it's useless trying to resist my true nature. I'm a demon. May as well accept it. The sooner the better. Even if I continue to live as a human, all my friends and acquaintances will inevitably end up dying. And I'll be left on my own. Forever. I'm a demon and I have to behave like one. The sooner, the better. So? <coughs> what do you choose, Louis? Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna... I shall follow my father, Sir Gregory. Very well. But don't say I didn't warn you. Please, don't take offense, but I just can't turn my back on him. It's time we finished what we started, brother. The final vote of the conference over the acquisition of Louisiana will take place in a few hours. I propose you gather your troops and prepare to close the debate. That's precisely what I was going to suggest. Come, follow me. It's time for us to get ready. think we have a chance of winning? A chance? <laughs> you don't know me very well, Louis. We are going to win. But it only takes one person to vote against us, and we'll have lost. That's true. That's why none of them will. Why? Because I have an asset that they do not. Which is you. Mm -hmm. My friends, prepare yourselves. The conference is about to resume. The time has come to lay down all our cards. I didn't fail anything. Woo! Let's see here. Okay. That is that for C episode 
four, was it? Yes, episode four. One more episode and we finish up this show. And it's getting really interesting, I, I gotta admit. It's, uh, I don't like the fact that they threw being a demon in there so late game, but at the same time it kind of makes sense. And I kind of saw the father bit coming. Although it kind of got thrown out of my mind when, the, when she was all, oh yeah, he's a demon. Either way. I'm really enjoying this. I, I've always loved a good story aspect to a game. And, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I actually really... I like the idea of something like this, or like what Traveler's Tale did with Batman, and I was a big fan of the oh, Wolf Among Us. Hopefully I'll be able to get a hold of uh, both games, because it did get a sequel. But, hey... I, I just don't like the whole episodic, oh, I have, I got the game, but now I gotta wait for the rest of it to come out. I don't care for that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, next time we will be finishing this up, and we'll see where this story takes us. Until then, I hope all of you have a fantastic night.